guys, welcome to another video and today we will be doing a review on the air marker sprayer thing and this is by the brand of Crayola. Anyways, let's head on to this video. So this air marker sprayer box comes in a box like this and it says airbrush like a pro and it's an electric powered. So I'm just going to do a glimpse of this box. Here are the instructions. Easy to use, plug it in, insert marker, and spray away. This is back. And yeah, so now we will be actually starting the process. So the air marker sprayer kit comes with two stencils. And you have to cut these stuff and take them out. And one of these is ABCs and one, two, threes. And the other one's some type of designs like the sun, the, a dragon, I think. I don't know quite, I'm not quite sure. A feather, the moon, and this cool design. So, yeah. And then it comes with paper, a couple. And then it comes with this thing. This is the on and off button. This is, this is where you keep the marker, and we'll show you how to do that in a bit. This is the trigger, so you turn, sorry guys. You turn it like this, and it's on. And this part is where you keep the stuff in when you're not using it. And there's this plug-in thing. So we're just going to plug it in. And also, last but not least, it comes with five markers. And there are refill, ref, ref, refills of these markers. Sorry about that. And they come with five. So red, yellow, green, blue, and violet. I'm pretty sure there's more if you want to buy them, but this is how it comes. So anyway, let's actually start this. Okay, so the three colors we're going to be using is red, violet, and blue for today. And basically how you do this is this is like the gun thing you can call if you want, really wanted to. This is the trigger, and this is where you put the marker in. So we're going to be opening this. Yeah, sorry. My sister will be doing that. So... So basically what you can do here is you can tighten it or loose it, your choice. But you have to loosen it. Yeah, for the situation. And, and then, then tighten it. Yeah, after you put it in. And then basically this is the on and off button. So which stencil shall we pick today? How about the dragon? The dragon? Where's the dragon? Right here. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm just going to move that there. So, basically, you're going to be pressing the on and off button, and then you're going to be pressing on this. Keep going. And then you keep doing that, so. And it's basically this if you don't get it on the black. Yeah, you really don't want to get it on the black. You just want to get on the page, but it's okay if you do. It's no big problem. Perfect. Time to switch color. So, as you can see, this is kind of bad. Oh, and I don't recommend touching it. That was an actual accident. <laughs> but basically, a tip for doing this dragon or any type of stencil that's, like, really big is to do sections. So, this part, then this part, then this part. And, yeah, and don't touch it again, because, yeah. And moving on to next color. So now we're going to be doing violet, and we're going to be doing a tiny one. Yeah. Because, because why not? Can my assistant hold it on? Just hold it. Just hold this. And move your hand, please. Or you're going to get it. So, oh, let's okay. put it on. And then we're going to press the trigger again. And we'll be doing the star. And then you can move it out. I love the other kids on me. Okay, it became out a little Oh, I have to press this to off it, by the way. I think I said that, but. Yeah. It got a little hard. Like, it got, like, really, like, liquidy. But but that's okay. Just let it dry. Yeah. But tip. Don't touch it, though. To make it not that liquidy is to, um. Go far away. Yeah. And press lightly. So, like, softly, not hard. Go, like, so, yeah. So Almost now, like you're not touching it. Yeah, so now last color red? Yeah. And you want to do one? Yeah, and I think I got the 
rest on for this. Okay, so again, you put it on. Just put it on. And, and then, then you want tighten it. it up. First, you loosen it to put it in. Yeah. So, which I'm one? Gonna, I'm going to do the side. Okay. So, do sections. Do the circle part first. First, you have to press the on button. Yeah, see? You have to go softly. So I just noticed pretty. that I was going um, liquidy. Yeah. Okay, I think you can do like the these parts now. And the best thing about this is you can color it. So you can make one part red, then the other part yellow. Anything you want. Ooh, next one. You can see this one's coming out a little nicer. Yeah. I'm not right. And again, if you fit, if you like use up all the markers, you can buy more. But that's Crayol brand, and they need to be fat though. Yeah. Like they have to be like that type of marker. If they're skinny, then they and they're this type, they won't work though. Because when you loosen it, it will just fall off. It's still really loose. Yeah, we tried it before with a different type of marker of the Crayola brand. It didn't work. So make sure you get one of these markers. Anyways, now we are done. Let's see our ending. Ooh, that became really pretty. Again, it wasn't. It was still kind of bad, but we were trying it out. And make sure you have like papers underneath this or it might leak. Luckily these did not leak, but yeah. Anyways.